So um, I had a great time tonight with a friend sitting and talking about everything. I mean, everything. The election, <laughs> the despair, racism, sexism, LGBT, politics, music. I love conversations like that. That is just fabulous to me. But, you know, one of the things I would like to share with all of you um, uh, is that uh, I'm, as most people people know, I'm direct, but I sometimes stumble just like everybody else does. And, and the reason why I just stumbled over my words there is I was thinking about being politically correct um, instead of just being the essence New Yorker girl from the Bronx that I am. So I'm going to go back to being that right now. So... Um, in New York, you know, and when I talk to my family and I tell a story, they're like, so was that person white or black or Hispanic, whatever it is? And in New York, it's not a bad thing to ask that question. It's like if you're telling a story, like if I said I went out dancing and um, and I'm saying that this guy was a great dancer and um, and it was a Latin place, you know, they would assume that it's a Latin guy. But my mother would probably be bold and ask me, you know, white or black. And I'd be like, actually, he was white. And that was really what I really loved is like this white guy had rhythm and we had a really great time. And not all white guys, but a lot of white guys don't want to dance and they don't want to Latin dance. And I love Latin dancing. So that's why I stumbled a little bit. And, and in that moment, I thought, what story could I tell? So that's where I'm from. That's how I grew up, is that when we tell stories, we kind of ask who, what culture is the person? Because sometimes it adds, sometimes it makes it funny, sometimes it makes it serious, sometimes it makes you know a point, whatever it is. So in this, at this point, I want to say to all of my white friends, and I have a lot of them, and I love them, and um, I've talked to them about racial issues, and, and a lot of them have been feeling helpless and hopeless about what they can do. And uh, one of the com in the conversation that I had today, something dawned on me about the approach. So because black people who may call themselves African Americans, who may call themselves people of color, <laughs> you know, we are a, a segment of people that are very mixed. And so our experience is different. You know, um, me being of my mom's family is from the Caribbean and my dad's family is from the South, that gives a different experience to someone, a family that is definitely just from the South. Or if it's a family from Guyana or a family that grew up in Britain but of Caribbean roots. And so what I'm trying to say to you all is that sometimes we all get caught up in these labels and you know what is this and what is that. And what I said to my friend tonight was our identity as people of color because that's what I consider myself because I am extremely mixed. So, and I know a lot of what that is, and I own that that's who I am, and that's my foundation. So, for people in the African American, black, people of color community, all those labels, each one of us is holding on to our identity. And what I mean by that is our identity 
is connected to our parents and our family. And because of slavery and travel and not just slavery here in the States, but slavery in Africa and slavery in Rome, you know, it's slavery all over the continent. We are very mixed. And so we look, we meaning me, people of color, look for a foundation to hold on to, to be proud of, to stand in and say that we are enough, that we are good enough. So don't get caught in the labels, like I told this person tonight. Don't get caught in the labels, but just realize that the label is about our identity. So when you're dealing with individual people, don't make it so complicated. Just ask them, what is their identity? And then you get to deal with them as they feel proud because that's what the identity is about. It is about self-pride and self-worth. And in truth, black people, African-American, people of color have been beaten up for centuries. And we have had to find a way to persevere, to move forward, to do better, to be better. And we've had to navigate that on our own. And what we are saying to you all is, that is our identity. So if I stand here in front of you proud, mixed culture, but born and raised in the Bronx of Caribbean roots and Southern roots, but after the divorce, really mostly Caribbean roots. And Caribbean people, or if you want them, Caribbean people, are really strong. And we are taught to keep our dignity and not give it up for anybody else. But as I said that, I also thought, when I was in Amsterdam and I was crying and calling my dad from Amsterdam and feeling like I was beaten up and I couldn't do anything more and I couldn't, I felt like I couldn't do more. My dad cleared his throat and said, are you done? And I said, what? And he said, are you done? And I thought for a moment and I said, no. And he said, then never let them take your dignity. So that's what our identity is about. It is about our dignity. And I just want to share that with you. Peace.